That's the quietest thing that I've ever heard in my life. That's the quietest can I've ever heard. That's quieter than the old one. I've never heard something that quiet. I know you've all been impatiently waiting on this review. Many of you weren't too shy to let me know exactly how you feel. But I personally like it when we take a long time to review a product because it gives us much more time with that product and a better sense of how it will perform. Since we've probably shot more rounds through this Dead Air Wolfman than most owners ever will, I can confidently say that this is one kick-ass suppressor. We did just about the full Krebs Customs 9x39 AK review with this can, a lot with the Kalashnikov KP9, a lot with the POF Renegade during its review, the bulk of the HK SP5 review, and the bulk of the Nevesky Space Invader review, all with this can. That, along with all the extra shooting that this suppressor got, just because it is an awesome can. It has thousands upon thousands of rounds through it, it is holding up great, and I can wholeheartedly say that anyone who buys the suppressor will be extremely happy with their purchase. For everyone out there that just wants to hear the can, there is a massive sound test at the end of the video, and you can get an idea of how it sounds on various platforms, calibers, and configurations. Before all of that, I'm going to walk through the features, all the different mounting options, and kind of intertwine my opinion all the way throughout. But if all you want to do is hear the can, just fast forward to the end of the video. What makes the Wolfman such a phenomenal suppressor in my eyes is the performance, the versatility, and the features. At least in my opinion, there isn't another suppressor that performs this well across such a wide variety of calibers and platforms, while still offering features like modularity and the ability to take a wipe all in one can. The Wolfman is the best subgun suppressor I've heard to date. If you have an MP5, a Scorpion, a BNT, a Strybog, or any other subgun, and your main goal is to suppress that gun, nothing will do it better than the Wolfman. For me, that would be enough on its own to buy this can, but Dead Air has added so much more. You can get a pistol booster, and this will work on your pistols. Now, it is a little wider than your typical pistol can, so even suppressor height sights are going to pretty much line up with the top of the can. But it can do it, and it is awesome to have that versatility. Now any normal 9mm can will usually span the gap between pistol caliber carbines and pistols, but Dead Air made the Wolfman tough enough to handle some supersonic rifle rounds, so you can run 5.56 and 7.62x39 through the Wolfman as well. That's why I also think the Wolfman is a great choice for first time suppressor buyers, because it covers a lot of the most common calibers all in one can. This really packs a lot into one suppressor and covers so many bases. I think it's a great addition for someone who already has a bunch of suppressors or the first time buyer. In the box, you'll get the suppressor itself with a half by 28 direct thread mount. That will mount to the majority of your subguns or pistol caliber carbines. An end cap removal tool and this piece to hold the wipe into the back of the end cap. The Wolfman in its full configuration measures 7.5 inches long and will weigh in at 14.4 ounces. In the short configuration it will measure 5.13 inches and weigh in at about 9.8 ounces. All lengths and measurements are with no mount installed because all the various mounts can add various lengths and weight to the can. The Wolfman also has a slightly wider than normal for 9mm diameter at 1.618. This greatly adds to the internal volume of the can and one of the things that makes it sound so amazing. The massive internal volume coupled with the generous bore size gives the Wolfman very low back pressure making it extremely pleasant to shoot. The long will be astonishingly quiet, and the short version is actually surprisingly quiet for its size. Dead Air made the Wolfman break apart at about the 3 quarter mark, giving the shooter an optimized short configuration that on its own is quieter than many other suppressors on the market. 
The Wolfman utilizes the Ghost lineup of adapters, so if you're running it on your sub gun, you can use a direct thread mount like the half by 28 that comes with the Wolfman. The new Dead Air half by 28 adapter actually has an internal stop, allowing it to line up with the muzzle rather than the shoulder of the barrel, making it perfect for guns that don't have a good shoulder like the Kalashnikov KP9. The Wolfman can accept the Ghost Pistol Booster Assembly. This will allow your Wolfman to work on virtually any threaded barrel pistol. You'll also need to get the appropriate piston thread pattern for your pistol. You can also remove the spring in the booster assembly and replace it with the fixed barrel spacer to use on pistol caliber carbines just like you would use a direct thread mount. There is also a 3 lug adapter available for all of your 3 lug capable guns like the HK SP5 and the MP5 and the BNT lineup. This is really cool if you've never seen it, just push on, quarter turn and that's it, there's nothing quicker. Also a really nice touch that Dead Air does is all of the ghost accessories tighten with a standard AR-15 castle nut wrench and most gun guys have one of those laying around. The Wolfman is also rated for light duty rifle use. When using supersonic rifle cartridges, Dead Air recommends that you use the key micro adapter and the micro brake. This adapter allows you to use Dead Air's chemo system. This adds a ton of versatility to the Wolfman. This is Dead Air's quick attach system and easily one of the best mounting systems available today. What makes the Dead Air mounts so great? Well, they had tapers before tapers became the in thing to do, and the tapers are in front of the mounting lugs. These tapers keep carbon and fouling off the lugs so your suppressor and mount don't become permanently attached. To mount onto the muzzle brake, you just line up the indexing point with the top of the brake and then it will ratchet down onto the tapers. If you have a flash hider, just spin the can until it falls onto the indexing notch and ratchet down. Should you ever over tighten the can or have any issues getting it off, just put a wrench on here and loosen. The ratchet will break free and the suppressor can be unscrewed. This is the micro brake. Dead Air recommends this in conjunction with the adapter when shooting 5.56 or 7.62 by 39. You can attach this brake to your AR and use the Wolfman. The micro brake will also work just fine with either the Sandman series or Nomad series of suppressors from Dead Air. You'll also notice with the new micro brake that you need less of a rotation to lock on the suppressor. I asked the guys at Dead Air about this and they said that that is intentional, so don't worry about it. Don't think that your brake is messed up or anything like that. So all Dead Air suppressors work just fine with the micro brake. Let's talk about what brakes work in conjunction with the key micro adapter. With the adapter in the Wolfman, you can of course use the micro brake and you can use Dead Air's classic three prong flash hider. Unfortunately, you cannot use the classic Dead Air muzzle brake. It is too long and will actually hit the blast baffle. Be careful trying to force it and you may actually damage your suppressor. Dead Air has a fitment guide on their social media and website that you can reference. Interesting note, you can also use the JMAC Customs two port chemo brakes with the Wolfman. I also checked with Dead Air and they said that these brakes are good to go for supersonic rifles as well. So these make a great addition and option for the Wolfman. 
Another thing to think about is you can also put the key micro adapter on your 9mm carbines because it is bored out for 9mm. Yet another option for your pistol caliber carbines is the JMAC Custom Zero. This is literally just the chemo adapter with no muzzle device, but it will work just fine with the Wolfman. In addition to the Wolfman, the key micro adapter can fit into the back of both the Ghost and the Wolf. With either of these cans, the only mount that will work is the Micro Brake or the JMAC Custom Zero. And neither of these cans are rated for supersonic rifle calibers, so that is important to keep in mind. The Wolfman also takes wipes. For those out there unfamiliar with wipes, they are usually a little piece of rubber that typically goes into the end of the suppressor to make it quieter. I sometimes don't like wipes because there are a lot of suppressor manufacturers out there who can't get their cans quiet enough, so they put a wipe on the end using it as a crutch. If your can needs a wipe to be quiet, then you probably need to go work on your can some more. But that is not the case with the Wolfman. It is plenty quiet without the wipe, so I'm totally cool with the wipe capability on it and think that it's a cool feature. This will make the Wolfman even quieter and is noticed most on subsonic rounds like 300 blackout or 9mm. If you were hunting and wanted to be extra stealthy or really wanted to impress your buddies with how quiet your can is, those would be good times to use a wipe. When you remove the end cap of the Wolfman, you can insert the wipe. And in the box, there's another piece to hold it in place. Very cleverly, Dead Air has made their wipe interchangeable with a fairly common one inch overall diameter rubber sink washer. Wipes typically only last 30 to 50 rounds, so their effects aren't long lasting. But they do give you a noticeably quieter firearm while they are working, and we'll demonstrate that at the end of the video. Basically, I personally think they are more trouble than they're worth. Good news is Dead Air has made them as easy as they possibly can be, and the Wolfman is impressively quiet with or without the wipes. Okay, I think I've babbled on just about long enough, so let's listen how the Wolfman sounds across a variety of calibers, platforms, and configurations.
just to wrap things up, I'm obviously a huge fan of the Wolfman, and this is the best subgun can on the market currently, in my opinion. It also adds a lot of versatility with the ability to do pistols and some rifle calibers. I will say that if your primary goal is to suppress pistols, Dead Air has suppressors like the Ghost and the Odessa that will work better on pistols. They won't necessarily be any quieter, they'll just handle better, and the pistol sights will clear those cans better, due to the thickness of the Wolfman and the more traditional width of the Ghost or the extremely thin Odessa. If your main goal is to suppress rifles, again, Dead Air has suppressors that will do that better like the Sandman or Nomad series. In the full configuration, the Wolfman is definitely hearing safe on both 5.56 and 7.62x39. In the short, I would say that it's borderline. That's just my opinion from listening to a lot of suppressors. I don't have any hard meter data to support that. The Wolfman also won't have any negative effects on accuracy. If you remember back that time we shot 9x39 700 yards, that was with the Dead Air Wolfman. I do love cans that are versatile and I know that plenty of people do. And Dead Air has delivered on that in a big way with the Wolfman. This is just an all round feature packed suppressor that performs extremely well across a wide variety of calibers and platforms. This would be a great addition for someone that already has a safe full of suppressors or the first time suppressor buyer who wants to be able to use their can across a wide variety of their firearms. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in getting your own Wolfman, you can check out Silencer Shop. And even if you don't get it there, be sure to use them to do your NFA paperwork. Nobody makes it easier. And if you're not using Silencer Shop to do your NFA paperwork, you are just working way too hard. And guys, if you want to hear just how good your Wolfman can be, be sure to check out Stealth Ammo. I love this subsonic ammo. It performs great. It's been reliable across a wide range of platforms. It also runs a little cleaner than any other subsonic ammo I've tried. So be sure to check out Stealth Ammo. And guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. As always, we've got some really big reviews coming that you won't want to miss. And if you want to know what those reviews are way before they hit the YouTube channel, check us out on Instagram and Facebook, and there you can see what's being reviewed in real time. If you like what you see here on Alabama Arsenal and you want to help support the channel, the best way to do that is on Patreon. These videos can be surprisingly expensive to make, and every little bit helps and is greatly appreciated. There's also gear available right below the video if you want to go out and represent. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching.